Hello, hello, it's Ledger Snow, and I wanted to create a look inspired by traditional face paint ideas, so cue this evil moth butterfly creature. To prime my face through all that makeup, I'm going in with the Benefit Professional. This is going to help to smooth out any of my skin texture, because as I have mentioned before, white foundation can be a little bit problematic. Once my face is primed, I'm then going in with a heavy layer of white full coverage foundation by MAC. To set that white in place and to bump up the coverage in some of the areas, I'm then going in with MAC Studio Fix in Shivering White. And then as a little added setting technique, I'm going in with the Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder to make sure that none of that white can move. Then taking a medium matte brown eyeshadow, I'm using this to carve out a crease, and this is the Inglot shade 327. I wanted to add a little bit of a pink tone to that brown, so I'm using a blush, and this is a Sleek Trio blush palette, and then the shade Pink Teeny. I'm then going in and cutting a secondary crease in my real crease this time using the Inglot shade 391. Using the same pink and brown shades that I used to apply the first crease, I'm connecting it up to my nose contour, bringing it down the sides of my nose and connecting it up at the bridge to that first crease. To really define and cut in that second crease on the eyelid, I'm going back in with a MAC Full Coverage White Foundation and just crisping up that line so I can keep my eyelid bare and make that line look nice and sharp. And applying a little bit more of that matte black 391 by Inglot on the outer corners just to make things a little bit more intense. I'm very lightly applying blush to the high points of my cheeks with that same blush palette in the shade Pink Ice. This is an extremely pigmented colour, so I'm going in with a light hand and applying it lightly to build up the colour as necessary. Using that pink teeny blush shade again, I'm going in and I'm defining my lower lash line. And I'm drawing that colour up the sides of my face to wing out and draw my eyes up. To really change the shape of my eyes again, I'm going in with that matte black shade and I'm using this to draw in a secondary lower lash line. Following the same shape we created with that pink teeny colour, I'm going in with that black and I'm winging it out on the lower lid to really define the eyes. Then on the inner points of this new lash line, where the tear ducts would kind of be, I'm applying 6mm rhinestones. Going in with the Collection 2000 eyeliner, I'm lining my upper eyelid without a wing, creating a very very thin line, but putting the wing in the inner portion instead of the outer, kind of like a cat eye, but instead of it just being a point, I'm ever so slightly curling that liner into a slight half spiral. To diffuse that liner, smudge it out a little bit and add a blue sheen, I'm going in with the Barry M Pigment in the shade 98. Using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in Shivering White again, I'm using this to define the secondary crease and in a way carve it out to make it look like a very defined brow ridge. I'm then using this deep matte purple shade by Inglot in the shade 308 to kind of create these hair-like wispy eyebrows.
Starting to add some details to the face, I'm going to be applying some little dots here and there, and I'm starting off by using the pink teeny to apply two little dots in the centre of my brow ridge. Also applying some more of that inkblot black in the centre of those dots, and speckling it around in places where I feel it's necessary. I also went back in with some smaller rhinestones and applied them to those dots and some other areas around the eyes. For my lips, I'm using a purple shade by MAC, and this is Heroin, and this came in the MAC Disney collection from a few years ago. I'm just applying that into the centre of my lips and smudging it out to create a gradient. And with a white cream face paint, I'm drawing kind of a triangular shape in the centre portions of my lips. I'm now creating some antenna-like features on the face, and I'm mixing a little bit of Illamasqua Mixing Liquid in with that matte Inglot Purple eyeshadow. At the base of those antennas and the start of the brows, I'm applying down a little bit of eyelash glue and I'm pressing in some NYX Purple Sparkly Glitter. To my temples and to kind of contour, I'm using that pink teeny blush to add some details around the sides of my forehead. This more purpley pink is acting as the base, and I'm then going in with the other two shades, Pink Ice and Pink Parfait, and I'm using those to create spots, kind of like a moth or butterfly's wings, and I'm trying to make these as symmetrical and as haphazard as possible, although that's a weird thing to say. I want these to be detailed, I want them to have some form of symmetry, but also be a unique design. And I'm using those same pink shades to define the tip of my nose and add a little bit more detail to my nostrils. And then got some false eyelashes, and I covered them in some white face paint to make them white, and I'm applying them to my lower lash line that we created, that false one, and I'm also applying two pairs to my upper eyelashes. Next I'm going in with a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm using this to cover all of my water lines, as well as blend in my lashes to those white false lashes. This is kind of acting as our white mascara. I tapped a very thin layer of lash glue over those detailed areas that we added to the forehead, and I pushed in a little bit of chunky purple glitter. To those areas, I also went in with a violet NYX liquid suede liquid lipstick, and I applied some dots in certain areas. And with these small little details with this violet liquid lipstick, I tried to get these as symmetrical on both sides as possible. I'm then going in with this hot purple water activated face paint by Snazaru, and I'm using a toothbrush to speckle that into the contoured areas to add kind of a dusty look to the face, but to also add in some smaller details. I wanted to change my facial features a little bit more, and the best way to do that is to do something to the nose, so I went back in with that black Inglot shade in 391, and I deepened the colour around my nostrils. The darker crease on my eye wasn't looking as blended as I would like, so I went in with this shade by MUA, and this is in colour Midnight. Now I was going to try and keep this makeup all just to the face, but we all know I'm that little bit extra, so I went back in and covered my entire torso with that white green face paint and applied the hot purple in speckles all over my chest. With the wig applied, some black roses on a hairband, and some fake pipe cleaner antennas, that's this look complete. So yeah guys, I had a lot of fun changing up some classic face paint ideas to create this look. All of the products that I have used will be listed down in the description below. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye bye!